So I've got a bit of troll action going on. I mean, Dune Rider and troll. I mean, it's like those words don't really the go troll well together. I don't really get to get the troll is being trolled. Now, for many, many years, people set up accounts under the name Dune Rider and they write stuff. And now, sometimes I get in shit for it. But here we have a classic example right now. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. So we have a comment here. Fruitbat80 from Adelaide. He wrote, he says, cheers, dude, on one of my videos. And Durian Rider says, thanks, Ed Bed, keep up the cycling, mate. Ed Bed. <laughs> and well, you would think that that probably sounds something like I would write. But then I've written down below. Can you see that little tick next to my name? There you go. So this is a verified tick. They didn't know it's Durian Rider authentic. Uh, I said, Durian, hey, Durian Rider, your profile is fake. It's cropped. You can't see the I in Durian. No I means it's not I. I can see you, though, so that means it's the U, but it's not I, so it's not I. Basically, Anyone can set up a fake account on the internet and write anything, good or bad. Um, so be wary of what you believe on the internet, either from myself or from my other self or from anybody on the internet. You know, it, this brings us back to these girls who are getting preyed upon in our community by that Jack Francis guy. You know, he's hooking them up on Instagram, rounding them up, and he's just, I'm just into meditation, you know, namaste, all this bullshit. And then he gets them back in the white van. Literally, dude's got a white van, and he's like, take off your top. You can't sleep in here unless you sleep naked. And these girls are like, I don't want that. I was just hanging out. You know, things like that, just pressuring them for sex, sexual assault, etc. That's We'll go to court with that one. But once you see, it can be people just having fun. Like this, this during other trials, just having a bit of fun. And it can be fucking serious, man. It can be fucking really serious. So this video is basically to say to people that not everything you see on the internet is actually real. All right? So a lot of people... You know, try my name, that's just fair enough, it just comes to the territory. But sometimes what you see on the internet isn't what people are in real life. Some people, you can you can be a real nice person on the internet. You can put up pictures of your dragon fruit smoothies and like, hey man, flower. You can answer back with emojis and all this bullshit and say, I'm meditation, namaste, all this bullshit. And then when the, once the fucking everyone's gone and it's just you and that person, shit can get real, real quick. So young guys and young girls out there understand that, you know, the internet is an amazing place, but there's also a lot of creeps on the internet, a lot of darkness out there. And I just, well, we were talking about today with a few crew that the vegan scene gets trolled hard because there's a lot of girls. It's probably like fucking, this is, what's the, what's the rate, well, top down below, what's the ratio? So these predators fucking see that and they're thinking, fuck, I can just fucking exploit that. So a lot of these guys like that Jack guy aren't even fucking vegan in real life. I mean, they'll be like vegan for the, for the fucking Instagram shot for Facebook, but you know, go to family outings or whatever. We get the feedback. We get the feedback. Same with that Pizzino dude, not vegan in real life. But what people do though is they come into it because there's money in here, there's chicks, and there's like significance, and there's like community, and everyone's pretty chilled out. In our scene, in our high carb vegan scene, everyone's pretty carved up. Everyone's pretty fucking chill. And we're, all, we're the most tolerant. Of fucking any group in the fucking world, really. We're pretty fuck. We're carved up. We're riding bikes. We're having fun. You know, the high car vegan crew, the bike crew, the Royal Four crew, bike fucking trippers, man. We're all pretty chill. And so when a tough one comes in, we're not as suspicious as we should be, as we are are now. So people can come in and exploit that. So again, this is not to ramble on too long, but uh, just keep your eyes peeled. Be street smart. Girls, stay safe. And just be aware that not everyone out there is to be your friend. You know, some people want ulterior motives. It's not to fucking teach you meditation. It's not to eat fruit in the beach. It's not to go, let's go look at look out. There's more more ulterior motives than that. So just be careful. Learn. Learn.